Hello everyone and welcome. I am Mahoney from the Optin for Life team and with me is Dr. John Zerlo, also part of our Optin for Life team. And we want to talk today about a really important topic. We're going to get right into it. Dr. Z, the term undetectable. What does this mean for everybody? Well, I think everybody with HIV should know about what undetectable means. Mm -hmm. It means that if you're on HIV medicines to treat your HIV, then your medicine is working very well once your viral load becomes undetectable. That means the virus has been effectively turned off. There's no more viral reprodu reproduction. It's not reproducing itself any longer, and that means that your HIV is fully controlled. Now, with the virus not reproducing itself, does this mean that somebody is HIV negative? Well, it doesn't mean that people are cured. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have yet a cure for HIV, mm -hmm. but what we do have is medication that will so completely control HIV mm -hmm. as to make it virtually, it looks almost like cure, but unfortunately when people stop taking their medication, the virus comes galloping back. So we know that when people are on treatment and their viral load is fully controlled like that, meaning undetectable, then they're doing very, very well and we're yet to develop that cure for HIV yet. And fully controlled is a key component there. You heard it right here from the doc folks. Fully controlled is something you should really think about and internalize and realize just how empowering that is for yourself as the individual. You're in control of your infection, in control of that disease. That's a huge thing. Now, undetectable does not mean that somebody's HIV negative. What does undetectable mean for HIV positive individuals and their partners who may be HIV negative? So this is a very important question because, of course, no one wants to infect their partner. What we do have is a lot of important data, in fact, two major studies that have looked at that very important point. If someone is undetectable, mm -hmm. what's the risk that they'll transmit HIV to their uninfected partner? And two major studies looking at both male and female couples as well as gay male couples tried to answer this question. In both studies, the infected partner, who, who is a partner of an uninfected individual, had to be fully controlled, in other words, on treatment, undetectable viral loads, and in one of the studies, condoms were not always used, and they simply followed over several years to see how often it was that the HIV-infected partner infected their partner. And as, as, these published, uh, as these studies were published, we found that the frequency of infection, of, of that exact thing, of one person infecting the other, was zero under the two studies, meaning that if the infected partner is fully controlled and undetectable, their risk of transmitting to their partner is very small. And in fact, the study authors said, we think that the risk is negligible. Now, negligible is a key word there. Negligible is not the same thing as saying impossible. That's correct. Though the data look very strong, it certainly is theoretically possible, even for someone who's fully controlled, it's, it's possible that they could transmit the virus to someone else, but we think that that chance is extremely low. So some people listening to me, listening to what I'm saying would say, gee, I've heard what you say, and that sounds good, but I think we're going to still use condoms when we're sexually active. And others would say, boy, I like the data. I think the data sound good enough that, you know, I think we can be sexually mm -hmm. active without condoms. I think it, the, the question is, are you willing to take even a tiny, tiny risk? And that's, that's, that's where we don't have the full answer to the question. But the data are very encouraging that the chances of infection under those circumstances, one partner infected, completely unde undetectable, the other partner not infected, we think that the risk is very, very small of infection. And I think there's something key to point out here with this undetectable and consistently undetectable meaning that that infected partner has more than likely been taking their meds every day on their schedule, staying retained in care, and really on that regimen, correct? Correct. So that's a key component to remember here, that, that undetectable and taking your meds consistently, that you're, you're really honed in on that care. When somebody doesn't take their meds or they're inconsistently taking their meds, uh, but they've had undetectable viral loads, what could we expect? Well, the biggest concern is if you're take the medicines some days, other days you don't take the medication, 
it won't fully control your HIV. And then the virus has this means of sometimes developing resistance to the treatment, and suddenly at some point, the medicines would no longer work. Mm -hmm. The best way to guarantee that the virus remains fully controlled and that you remain healthy and you won't spread HIV to your partner would be to take every dose every day. Keep your viral load undetectable and wait until we get the cure. And we hope at some point in the future we'll be able to actually cure people and they'll be done with HIV, but we're not quite there yet. Not quite there. Waiting for that day when we can tell you it's okay to stop taking your meds. But in the meantime, take your meds, stick to that regimen, it's good for you. And ultimately, we've got the science-backed data to show what this could mean, what this could mean for intimacy in your relationships with your partners, things to talk about with your partner, things to discuss openly and discuss what undetectable means for you as the individual, for your partner, and for the both of you as a couple, uh, and just we're keeping up on that science and that research and knowing what's out there, there's some really great information. Is there anything else that our patients out there or people who are infected could expect or should know about that, that cycle? Because one of the things you mentioned there that I wasn't aware of was just the fact of, of skipping those doses could lead to that resistance that, that becomes a bigger problem ultimately. Um, what, are, what are just like the one other subtle fact that maybe you could leave us with? Well, I'd, I'd have to say the most important thing is, once again, follow the, the guidance of your doctor. Take that medication every day, as I tell so many of my patients, many of whom were just taking one pill a day. Mm -hmm. If you take that one pill a day, it takes maybe 15, 20 seconds. The rest of the day is yours. That's the difference between staying healthy, staying well, living a long life, not infecting others, versus having problems the way we used to see when people had HIV and AIDS. So take every pill every day. Every pill every day. Thank you once again for tuning in and thank you for listening to what we have to say here from the Optin for Life team. And as always, we hope you're having a healthy and wonderful day. Thank you.